Hi, and welcome to Rowdy's Weekly. I'm your host, Heather Donnelly. And first up on today's show is forward Corey Herzog. Corey, let's first flash back to two weeks ago for the game against the Cosmos. You scored an incredible goal. I'm sure you've had time to see video footage of it by this yeah. point. Would you say that's one of the crazier, more athletic goals you've ever scored? Yeah, I was. I still don't know how I got my leg up there and that, so credit to yoga and everything, but um, it was just a great team goal. I mean, Rich plays uh, Shiran, Shire plays Georgie, Georgie crosses it, so hopefully we can bring that this Saturday. Now let's talk about the game versus Edmonton. What was it like going to Edmonton on Sunday, at, coming off of that high of the yeah. win against the Cosmos? Yeah, um, coach said it before the week, when we win, we feel like we're the best team in the league, and when you lose, we feel like we're the worst, but we're trying to keep a medium there, so we're trying not to get too high on our wins and too low on our lows, so um, we're just trying to get back into the groove of things. Training today was great, so we're ready for Saturday. There weren't a lot of shots in that game against Edmonton. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I mean, um, we've been working all this week and getting shots in the final third and getting the crosses in and that. Sometimes we get into the spots where we can either cross or shoot and we choose to do the wrong one. So this week there will be a lot more shots and hopefully a lot more chances. Yeah, you're taking on San Antonio this weekend, a team that you've had high scoring games against yeah. so far this season. What do you expect against them on Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday I think um, they're not going to come out. Um, they're going to do what they did when we went there and try to counterattack in that, play defensively, uh, smart and all that. So we're just going to have to keep the ball, be patient, and not try to force things and hopefully we come out three points. Are you excited to be back here at home at Allang Stadium this yeah, week? Yeah, I can't wait. Going to Edmonton. It's just not the same playing away and playing home, so it's so great to play in front of the fans and they help, they're like the 12th man, so they help us get into the game and when something, when we score against New York, I mean, the next half we were all into it, the fans were into it, so it helps us to keep going. You played for FC Edmonton back in 2013, what was it like getting to go back there? Do you enjoy yeah. it? Yeah, I liked it, I mean, I got to see all the guys I played with when I was there and everything, so it was good to catch up with them and all that. I wish we could have got three points or at least a point on the road. So, I mean, we didn't play bad, so we created a couple chances that we could have scored on, but it would have been nice to get out of there with a tie. The playoff scenarios are constantly changing. You guys seem to be right on the verge there, going between fourth place and fifth place overall. Are you starting to feel that playoff pressure, or is the mood pretty relaxed still? It's still relaxed, but we know what we have to do. We can't drop any games. We, can't, we need to get points on the road, and we have to especially get three points at home. So that's the goal right now is to get three points every game at home, and then hopefully on the road we can steal a win one out of two or the um, we're trying to just at least get a point so we'll bring home. All right, thanks Corey. Thank you. And now I'm joined by head coach Stuart Campbell. Coach, first tell me your thoughts on Sunday's game at Edmonton. Yeah, obviously we're disappointed not to get at least a point. We started the game very slowly in my opinion. We grew into it and then we were pretty dominant in the second half but we, we didn't have enough shots basically. Yeah, there weren't a lot of chances in that game. Why do you think that is? I don't know, it was a, it's a tough place to go, obviously playing on turf, it was a windy day. Uh, they scored a goal from a set piece, which obviously frustrated us, we know that's one of their strengths. Uh, just, we got in some good positions, Heather, we just didn't, we didn't shoot enough. That's something we've been working on this week to try and, try and address for the weekend. The Rowdies have seemed to have a tougher time on the road this season, which is a common thing in sports. Most teams play better at home than they do on the road. Why do you think your team specifically just has a tougher time at road games? Yeah, uh, I mean, the previous road game we played very well against Ottawa, so we, we went to Edmonton full of confidence and sometimes you, you have those type of games, those type of performance, and it's important that you don't lose a game, which unfortunately we did. This weekend, San Antonio comes to town. The previous two times you've played them have been high-scoring matchups, high-scoring for the Rowdies in the spring, three goals for San Antonio in the fall. Do you expect a high-scoring game on Saturday? Uh, I expect an entertaining game. Obviously, they're, they're well-organized. They have pace and abundance up front so we have to be on guard defensively and then also I'm looking for a good attack and performance from us to carry on from our last home game against the Cosmos. What do you think will be the biggest challenge against the Scorpions? Uh, the biggest challenge is obviously defending the counter attack from them. They, as I said, they have pace up front so when we're attacking that's probably when San Antonio are at their most dangerous. With eight games left in the season, are you starting to feel that playoff pressure? Uh, yeah, playoff pressure, playoff excitement, call it what you, what you like. It's, it's so tight, it's so congested up there, it, it's literally swinging from week to week. So we just have to make sure that at the end of the eight games we're, we're in and about there. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for stopping by Rowdy's Weekly. Thank you. That wraps up this episode of Rowdy's Weekly. 
The Rowdies take on the San Antonio Scorpions Saturday night here at Alang Stadium. Kickoff is set for 7.30, so head on over to Ticketmaster.com or call 727-222-2000 for your tickets. You can also tune in on WTTA Great 38 or ESPN3. Thanks for watching this episode of Rowdies Weekly, and we'll see you next time.